On January 16, 1920, on the campus of Howard University, five women believed that sorority elitism and socializing overshadowed the real mission for progressive organizations. Guided by a burning passion for change, Arizona Cleaver Stimmons, Pearl Anna Neal, Myrtle Tyler Faithful, Viola Tyler Goings, and Fanny Petty Watts founded our sorority, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Built on the principles of scholarship, service, sisterhood, and finer womanhood, these women created an everlasting legacy. For the last 100 years, we have set ourselves apart as an agency for community change. While not the first, we are a sorority of many first. Through our multiple community programs such as Z-Hope, Elder Care, National Educational Foundation, and many others, we have helped thousands of people gain access to better health care, education, prenatal care, and career resources. Laura Lexi Allen is a producer, actress, singer, comedian, and television personality. A Midwest soror, born in Columbus, Ohio, has a passion for working in the community and carrying the Zeta torch. Graduate of Bowling Green State University in 1989, became a finer woman in Z5B, where she continues to carry the torch. Across the nation, she continues to host events, and we are excited to have her with us today. Zeta Phi Beta as we celebrate 102 years. Help me welcome Soror Lexi Allen. Good afternoon to my beautiful Sorors of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. I am so excited to be with you today to, as we celebrate 102 years of scholarship, service, sisterhood, and finer womanhood. Members from all over the world have come together with the single purpose of celebrating 102 years of living the legacy and continuing to carry the torch as we are timelessly finer. Mm, okay, we are excited to have so many of our friends here with us to help celebrate an organization that has illuminated the way in making a difference in our domestic United States communities and around the world. Zetas throughout the globe continue to celebrate the legacy of our five triumphant founders, Arizona Cleaver Stimmons, Pearl Anna Neal, oh my God, you're taking me back to my pledging days, Myrtle Tyler Faithful, Viola Tyler Goings, and Fanny Petty Watts. Zetas continue to make history in the areas of politics, entertainment, healthcare, journalism, military, entrepreneurship, and so much more. We do that thing, okay? The pandemic continues to have a global impact and it has changed the way we do things. So we are here virtually, we still here though, to celebrate 102 years, the 102nd year of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated and all the good our organization stands for. But for as far as we have come, there is so much more work to be done as we continue to live the legacy of our founders and carry the torch with our Zeta lights. Okay, that's what we're doing. Without further ado, 
Help me welcome Archbishop Mary Floyd Palmer of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She has served in ministry for over 50 years, and she is a member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Good evening. I greet you, my sisters, my sororities of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated to our international president, Valerie Hollingsworth Baker, her cabinet, and all of you who are yoked through our covenant together. And in particular, to our constitutional brothers of Phi Beta Sigma, who just celebrated 108 years. We are grateful to be together on this occasion of celebration to say how good God is. Often through the years, this word might have been challenged. That word is hope. Hebrews 10, 23 said, let us hold unswervingly fast to that which we know, for he that has promised is faithful. Isn't it good to know that a God who has brought us from there to here is still yet faithful? He helps us to be able to meet our obligations, stay faithful to our covenant of service and sister brotherhood, and of course, caring for the least of these. In the midst of a pandemic where we have been challenged like never before, we are still able to know that hope rings eternal and one day this too shall pass. May I encourage you even the more that when you have nothing else, you do have hope and hope will breed faith and faith will breed steadfastness. What do you mean? First Corinthians 15, 58 says, therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And so I want to encourage you to stand your ground. Don't give up, but hold on to that which you know, and hope will always lead us to victory. In this moment of joyous celebration, let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, the maker of each of us, the creator who seen fit to have us raised on this day, the one in whom we live, move, and have our being, we give you thanks. Thank you for sustaining us down through the years both Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, and yes, our brothers as well, Phi Beta Sigma Incorporated, and all of the rest of the Panhellenic Group Council that we celebrate. We ask God that in this occasion, where we are coming together to share on this Martin Luther King weekend, we will not only listen to the message of hope, but that we will embrace it and carry it out to when victory is ours. We shall overcome one day. We look forward to that day. But in the meantime, strengthen us, God, on every weak and leaning side. Give us wisdom to be able to care for not just the part, but the whole. And more importantly, endow us with the fruits of your spirit that will make a shining example of your love for us as we share that same love with one another. Now, in this moment, we thank you. We're grateful for not only history and legacy, but for the many years that will continue to sustain us. And we can't be even more prouder of what you have already done. And we are looking forward to what you will continue to do. We ask special blessings on our leadership, on the council, on each Sora under the sound of my voice. Meet every need, God, public and or private. And if you will do it just one more time, we shall give you the honor, we shall give you the glory, and we definitely will give you the praise. It is in the name that is above every name, Jesus the Christ, that I believe, and those that are in chorus will say amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Hi, I'm Christy Satterwhite from the amazing Arkansas Zetas, Passa Zeta Chapter, Magnolia, Arkansas. I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Sororors. 
I'm Sora Vicki Shady from Akron and the Miro Zeta chapter, and I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Sorors. I am Sora Siobhan Lacey, and I am from the IOTA Zeta chapter in Indianapolis, Indiana, and I am Zeta. But 50 years ago, on Howard University campus, as a number of us strolled up and down the long walk and around the reservoir, Brother A. Langston Taylor thought of the fact that they'd like to have a sister organization at their conclave. And so we say that he fathered the thought, and Brother Robert, Charles Robert Taylor served as the inspiration. And we were born on Howard campus with the five of us on January the 16th. After a lot of work went into it, it didn't all arrive on January the 16th. But we walked upon Howard University campus, proud of our insignia of Zeta Phi Theta sorority, being the first sorority to be organized as a sister organization to a Greek fraternity. We are actually and brothers. Brother Taylor visited my in the hall often for the purpose of seeing one of our pearls. He saw our Arizona, the Dog University. And we had a large parlor at which time the girls had their social calls. So our Arizona came to my room after giving me the facts as they had discussed them, she asked what I thought of the idea. <clears throat> I somehow I always felt that there should be another sorority, that it would make a, it would make the seals closer together. So Brother Charles' idea was that this new sorority would be a sister to the Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. He had the idea that our constitution would be alike in part and that we would be the first national sister and brother Greek organization. And as that one of your founders, I will say I'm so thankful to be one of the five who are here today on our 50th anniversary. And as we grow in years, may we continue to grow in numbers and in prestige so that others may recognize us not only by our name, but by the fine quality for which we stand. In 1920, there might have been just one Tyler sister when Arizona asked us to uh, join the organization. Myrtle and I took a walk around the reservoir <laughs> to decide which one would be because we were too poor for both of us to become uh, Zetas. So uh, I asked her, since she was a few months younger than I was, that for her to go on. And she wouldn't listen to that. And she uh, said, well, both of us. So that's the reason we uh, kind of sacrificed what little money we had. And that's why we were both uh, Thank you. Tells you so very much about the beginning because I'm the baby. Now I do remember asking Arizona, she asked me, would I join the sorority? Now really, to tell you the truth, I didn't know the meaning of the word sorority. And I said, it really wouldn't be a good idea to join this society because when she told me it, um, one of his aims was service. And before 
I came to Howard University, my parents always did charitable work. So I said, well, if this is good, I, I want to do something. And I've always had in my heart to do something for other people, even though you were poor. And so I consented to join. And all of the uh, original plans had been made. I just joined. We are fortunate within Zeta to still have a connection to our founders. Our immediate past chairman of the International Executive Board, Michelle Porter Norman, has kept the legacy of our founders alive in so many ways. Represented by her zeal and love for them and for Zeta, let's welcome her. I was first introduced to Sir Francis Faithful when I served as Great Lakes Regional Director. And through that relationship, she introduced me to Soros Debbie Hill and Soros Kyra Hardiman of Ohio, the granddaughters of founder Viola Tyler Goins. Sora Faithful introduced and welcomed me into her family. She was like a grandmother. She was wise, she was kind, she was honest, and she loved junk food. She was the epitome of final womanhood. My relationship with Debbie Hill is daily. We communicate every day. We say good morning. We tell each other how our days went. And we love each other dearly. Kyra Hardiman is petite, soft-spoken, and truly a finer woman. And through that relationship, the sorority inducted Kyra's mother, the daughter of founder Viola Tyler Goings, inducted her as an honorary member at the 2019 Executive Board meeting in the Bahamas. She is the oldest living honorary member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Under the leadership and administration of the 24th International Grand Basilis Mary Bro Wright, during her term as Grand, she wanted to do memorials and dedications to our founders. And as you know, within the Great Lakes region, we have two founders to honor. At the 2018 Great Lakes Regional Conference in Dayton, Ohio, the sisterhood honored the Tyler sisters the first legacies of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. We honored our founders with a marker, two benches, and to the city of Springfield, Ohio, we erected a canopy, a shelter in Perrin Woods Park, just one block where our founders resided all those years ago. Much information was shared through the legacies of our founders. But one thing that touched my heart was when Sora Faithful passed away in 2017, she bequeathed me the sorority pen of her mother, founder Myrtle Tyler Faithful. I will cherish forever her confidence in giving me her mother's pen, which I cherish to this very day. I cherish my relationship with Sora Francis Faithful. She taught me a lot, advised me a lot, and I want to always represent the legacy of her mother and her aunt and all the founders in representing service, scholarship, sisterhood, and final womanhood. It is these women who led the path for all of us to continue on the legacy of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. First, I wanna thank the trustee board for allowing the legacies of our founders to have a personal tour of headquarters. That evening was emotional for all present because they saw the fruit of their 
mother and aunt. They saw the true sisterhood erect a headquarters that is befitting finer women. They were in tears. They were honored, they were humbled, and they were truly appreciative of all the things that the women of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated do, continue to do, and will continue to do in memory of their mother and aunt. It is up to all of us to continue the legacy of our founders, the service, the scholarship, the sisterhood, and the finer womanhood. It's up to each of us to pull one another, to strengthen each other, so we can carry on as finer women. The Zeta Founders Endowed Scholarship Fund continues to honor the legacy of our founders and carry that torch. Sorority members and friends and family continue to invest in this fund to advance Howard University's effort to increase the representation of minorities studying science and technology, engineering and math, while honoring Zeta's founders with this lasting footprint. I'm so proud of us. As we continue to inspire and support students who pursue scholarship in STEM-related fields, as exemplified by the late Dr. Marjay D. Anderson, a member of our sorority and alumnus of Howard University and Alpha Chapter, please welcome Sharon Strange Lewis, Director of Alumni Affairs at Howard University. Greetings, members of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. On behalf of Howard University's Division of Development and Alumni Relations, I'd like to wish you a happy Founders Day. I'm Sharon Strange Lewis, Director of Alumni Relations and proud alumna of Howard University, the birthplace of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. In November of 2017, in honor of your sorority's founders and in commemoration of your centennial, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated established the Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated Founders Endowed Scholarship Fund at Howard University. Through your generosity and philanthropic efforts of more than 170 donors, more than $500,000 has been raised to support students of color who are interested in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We thank you on behalf of all of the Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated scholars for creating such a lasting footprint on our beloved campus, Howard University. Again, thank you and happy Founders Day. Sorors. I wish you a happy Founders Day on this day that we mark 102 years of scholarship, service, sisterhood, and finer womanhood. Over the years, Zeta has been profoundly leading the way when it comes to scholarships. And in fact, we are close to giving out over $500,000 in scholarships via the NEF. So Soros, as we celebrate today, celebrate scholarship, Celebrate all the women that have come before us. Cherish their memories, remember their contributions, but most importantly, live out their legacies. Have a happy Founders Day. Soror Karen Boykin Towns has built a reputation as a visionary and driver of strategic results. She brings demonstrated success in the area of policy, advocacy, communications, and proactive change management to the NAACP, right? Watch this, as her role as vice chair of the National Board of Directors. Help me welcome Soror Karen Boykin Towns. To all of my sorors of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, including my sisters by selection and Beta Nu Zeta, happy Founders Day. 102 years later, we are still standing and we are still finer. 27 years ago, I joined this illustrious organization. I remain committed to our ideals of service, sisterhood, scholarship, 
and final womanhood. I am Zeta, you are Zeta, we are Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soarers. Now, in case you didn't know, a Zeta woman is a talented woman. And today, we look at the talent that Zeta has as we honor our rich legacy. We are excited to have our sister, Teresia Griffin, with us to provide entertainment. Teresia Griffin, affectionately called the Empress of Soul, is an exciting entertainer and songwriter. Her talent never disappoints, nor does it cease to amaze all who hear her melodic voice. We are excited that she is one of our own, so please welcome Teresia Griffin. Do it, Soror. Come on, Soros. Come on, Teresia Griffin. Let's have some fun. A bird sang this song to me. There was a message in his melody. Sweetest lyrics that I ever heard. See, there's a message in the songs of birds. Tomorrow is another day. Living is the only way. Tomorrow's ever gonna come. Listen to the words of the song. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Don't be on. Come on, Sarah. Everything. Hey. All right. Now the trees sang this song to me. He said the birds sang it to the breeze Just in case I was feeling down And didn't really want to be around The breeze sometimes come with rain Nothing in life stays the same Tomorrow's gonna bring a change The message remains the same State Director and Soros, I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soros. I am Sora Candy Hendricks coming to you live from the Great Lakes region, Gamma Alpha Kappa Zeta Chapter, Heights District, Ohio, and I am Zeta. I'm Mary Cat Clark Tillman, hailing from the phenomenal Pacific region, Zai Zeta Zeta Chapter in San Jose, California, and I am Zeta. 
Happy 102 years, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. I absolutely love you as an organization. You have changed my life, and I wouldn't want to be anything other than an amazing, illustrious, vivacious woman of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Your service and sisterly love has transformed my life and connected me with so many amazing, beautiful men and women um, in regards to our uh, brother fraternity, Phi Beta Sigma. Uh, so thank you so much, Zeta, for the many, many years and memories and love inside this organization. Um, I will always be grateful to you. Zeta Phi Beta, I love you so. From Sora Selena Johnson. Greetings, everyone. Hi, my name is Virma Springer. I am the International Youth Director for Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Well, what can I say? We have made it, Sorors. We are here 102 years later, and we are still standing strong. And guess what? Our youth are coming along with us. Because of you and all the hard work that you all have done, everything that you've poured into our youth, we continue to strive and get better. Can you imagine that most of our youth who have gone away to college are now becoming members of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. How wonderful is that? Once again, Soros, I want to thank you so much for all your hard work, everything you have done to allow our youth internationally to be a huge success. Can you imagine during the pandemic that our youth were able to do so many events, so many things virtually, and that's because of you ladies. Can you imagine that our youth was doing things from Okinawa down to Brooklyn? It is amazing to know the hard work that each of you have poured into our youth. So on behalf of myself, my co-director, Jatun Andrews King, our eight youth regional coordinators, our state youth coordinators, our phenomenal PR youth team, we want to say happy Founders Day, Soros. We have made it 102 years later, and we look even finer. Take care, Soros. Happy Founders Day, Soros. I am Sora Letitia Heflin, and I am a member of the IOTA Ada Zeta chapter serving Decatur, Georgia, and I am Zeta. Zeta's legacy as an earth-shaking, groundbreaking, trailblazing organization, true to the call of being both community conscious and action-oriented, can be traced for literally 102 years ago today on January 16th, 1920. And our beloved sorority has been a blessing to communities where there were no established freedom schools for people of color. It stretched across the country, established youth auxiliaries to mentor youth, foster friendship, and encourage young ladies to make wise choices. It reached to sisters without a college education and formed an auxiliary designed to foster friendship and service. And then it reached to the Dawson side of my family tree and gave women and opportunity to leave college with more than just a college degree. And it has given to me personally an opportunity to share in service and sisterhood alongside my sisters, my cousins, my aunts, my foremothers, and my mommy. For us, it is a source of great pride to have our family history reflect a consistent commitment of scholarship, service, sisterhood, and final womanhood. And Soros, it is my honor to be a descendant and legacy of the same, a true blue legacy of the greatest sorority on the face of the earth, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Greetings, Soros. My name is Shirley Wilson Jones. Happy Founders Day. I played Zeta Phi Beta on the Lamorne on campus in 1972, Phi Alpha Chapter. I am currently an active member of the graduate chapter, Alpha Eta Zeta Chapter of Memphis, Tennessee. I am Zeta. Hi, I'm Tanya Thielen Harrison, and I'm a spring 1993 inductee at the University of Nebraska Omaha. I am Zeta. Hey, Sorors, I am Melissa I. Walton Jones, and I hail from the magnificent Midwestern region. I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day. 
My name is Sharon Jackson, and I'm a proud member of Delta Alpha Zeta Zeta Chapter in Pasco County, Florida. It's important to me to carry the torch of Zeta. When I was just a young girl in high school, I became an Arcanet through the Eta Alpha Zeta Chapter in Memphis, Tennessee. Sarah Carlotta Watson and those beautiful ladies began to instill into me the principles of scholarship, service, sisterhood, and final womanhood. And those principles have guided me through my 35 years of being a Zeta. I want to continue to carry that torch so that I can instill those same principles into young ladies today and let them know that they too can be a finer woman of Zeta Phi Beta sorority. Happy Founders Day to all of my beautiful Saras. What does Zeta mean to me? Zeta Phi Beta sorority is a legacy of finer womanhood a legacy that will always continue. I am a proud third generation Zeta, which began with my dove grandmother, then my mom and my aunt, then continuing with me. I'm grateful that my grandmother started the legacy. Community service plays a huge role in Zeta as it's one of our principles. We serve by giving back to the less fortunate via clothing and food donations, helping underfunded schools and granting impactful scholarship awards. We also sponsor health political, and financial awareness programs, along with supporting numerous other initiatives. One of my favorite initiatives is the March of Dimes. Being born a preemie, the March of Dimes is special to me, as it helps to fund research to increase infant survival and provide prenatal education. Service is very important, as it's good to give back to the community and to the less fortunate. Zeta also means to me embracing and welcoming others. In addition, Zeta is committed to the development of young ladies. As a former member of the Pearlette, Amiket, and Arcanet clubs, I experienced this firsthand. I was taught through each youth auxiliary what it means to be a finer woman, strive for excellence, the proper table etiquette, how to dress correctly, and so many other things to prepare me for the real world. Finally, Zeta is a very hardworking and dedicated organization. As I embark upon my two-year mark as a member of Zeta next month, I have accomplished many things and currently hold the chapter president position and a state position. The work of Zeta doesn't come easy, but if you put in the work, it will be rewarding and fruitful. Walking in the path of Zeta means letting your light shine and being a friend to man. Happy Founders Day, Soul Roars. 102 years of scholarship, service, sisterhood, and finer womanhood. Hey everyone, my name is Kylia Howard. I'm from the phenomenal Pacific region, New Upsilon chapter. Zeta means everything to me and anyone who knows me knows how much it is a part of my life. Being a part of this illustrious organization full of like-minded women who are focused on bettering their education and community, growing sisterly bonds, and exemplifying the meaning of being a finer woman. I love everything Zeta stands for and who it has allowed me to become. My time in Zeta has been short, but it has been the most sweetest experience of a lifetime and I can't wait for many more years. Happy Founders Day, Soros. Greetings, Sororas. I'm Jada Powell, a Spring 21 initiate of the Mu Theta chapter within the South Central region. It means so much to me to be a Zeta. From transitioning from an Amika and an Arcanet all the way up to becoming a finer woman, it is the most incredible journey I've ever taken within my life. Living through the principles that our five pros instilled in us is something that is unmeasurable and something that I would wish that every girl had the opportunity to do. Once again, Sororas, happy Founders Day and congratulations to us for having 102 years of service. In 1997, Essence Magazine asserted that soror Vivica A. Fox was the talented Hollywood homegirl of the moment. So many years later, she has portrayed her screen appeal into a successful acting career with dozens of films and television appearances, and we are delighted that she is tirelessly finer. Help me welcome our soror Vivica A. Fox. Hello there, darlings. It's your girl, Vivica A. Fox here. I am a soar, a proud member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. I want to wish all of my fellow soar sisters a happy Founders Day. Let's continue the tradition of finer womanhood.
Stay blessed. Education and scholarship are both major focuses for Zeta Phi Beta, as these are our founding principles, yeah. So remember this Founders Day, we are supporting the scholarship efforts of our organization and investing in them. So please log on to Z5B2020.com forward slash Howard to donate today. That's Z5B2020.com forward slash Howard, and donate, donate, donate. Everyone, please welcome Tanda Lamb, undergraduate representative to the International Nominating Committee, followed by Erica Alexander. Greetings, Soars. As much as I say this, this has become my motto. Let's not forget our founders, our torchbearers, were undergraduates. 102 years ago, they began a legacy like no other. And I'm so fortunate to have simply walked on the same ground as them, let alone be a torchbearer of tomorrow. When I think about what drew me to Zeta, it wasn't the pretty colors or the dancing or the strolling or the stepping or even the sisterhood. It was the fact that I saw women who looked like me working to help a community that also looks like me, which is truly a passion of mine. So to be in the position I am today is truly surreal. I'm a young soror and although there's a lot I have to learn, I'm fortunate enough to be in a position to also teach. The undergraduate voice is of the utmost importance for the sorority today and tomorrow. To bring the young voice to the table is bringing the sorority into the new day and age. The world is changing so much each day. The job was on all of us, from young sorors to seasoned sorors, from new sorors to our amazing doves. The job is on all of us to create a sorority that will continue to grow and thrive through many more centuries. Being a torchbearer today is what will continue to keep our sorority going another hundred years. To my sores, especially the young ones, life isn't always easy and our founders face their own challenges. The perseverance and the love is what has kept Zeta growing and thriving today. So think back to what drew you to Zeta. What compelled you to join our illustrious organization? Continue to step out on faith. Continue to speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Do not let anything or anybody dim your light or your zeal for Zeta. Play hard, but work harder. Because one thing we are not is all talk. We're the front runners who go out and do work. We don't talk about it, we beat about it. But today, Soros, let's celebrate 102 years and the fact that we're not slowing down anytime soon. Happy Founders Day, Soros, and to many more. Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. It is a humbling experience to join a sisterhood where their actions are collectively making phenomenal strides towards the improvement of others, regardless of any form of identification or intersectionality. We don't wait for individuals to come to us. We get out into the community and meet others where they are. As triumphant soror Arizona Cleaver Stimmons stated, give the world the best you have. I want to make lasting impacts in my community and those around me. Zeta approached scholarship and service in a way that aligns with my own beliefs and values. As a social worker, I feel like this is the perfect way to continue building on that foundation. Family is one of the first things that comes to mind when I think of Zeta. The principle of sisterhood means a lot to me because I have one just like many of you do. I am and want to continue building bonds each strong and unique in their own ways. And oh, to be a finer woman. I will forever be grateful to Zeta for seeing the finer and virtuous woman in my sister and myself. Let's celebrate the impact of 102 years of scholarship, service, sisterhood, and finer womanhood. Makila Norwood is the CEO of Free Life Productions and she is a spoken word artist. Now through the arts, she aims to inspire people to live the life that they always wanted. She often says, there are many reasons why I write, but the biggest of these, it's because it's what I was born to do. When you meet your purpose and figure out your why in life, Never let that go, she says. Sisters and friends, help me welcome our sister, member of Zeta Phi Beta, Makila Norwood. Don't bother asking me, who are you, when I am every woman and everything you could ever hope to be, but no need in trying to be me, when you are a phenomenal woman too. So, let me hear your loudest roar. 
whether you are mother lioness protecting her cub or you are queen of your own fortress just slaying your nine to five you a brave princess in the classroom with a mind that's ready to shine divine goddess the world has been waiting and praying for someone just like you to press for progress never limit always lead the world is your oyster and the skies are within reach so walk on clouds queen we will be faithful to follow your lead until we all reach our highest ground and the world never doubts the power of a woman again because you are more than friend you are sister soror much more than the average woman, you are finer. Receiving only the finest things that life can bring because in your hands, God can trust you to give it right back and that service. And even with scholarship stock and degrees on lock, we couldn't earn this. Only follow the blaze that created new trails out of the maze and into amazement. Heaven sent divine guidance to our founders and suddenly the world found new rhythm. Through Arizona Cleaver Stimmons, Pearl and Anil, Myrtle Tyler Faithful, Viola Tyler Goings, and Fanny Petty Watts. Together, they blocked out the negativity of their day in order to create a community conscious, action oriented organization. Their frustration was women coming together only to make another social club when there was so much more to be done now and not later. And their answer was Zeta. Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, the only sorority to be constitutionally bound to Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, the first to create auxiliary groups, the first to have a national headquarters, and the first to go back to charter a chapter in the motherland. Hand claps to all the sorors with the names we know and the work that has inspired us. With the dream so big and bright and the life that has challenged us to be the best version of ourselves. Because though we know full well that our founder's vision has propelled us forward and guided us through in year 102, that all passes on to you and me and the countless others of Soros' faces we may never meet. But knowing the light that emanates from them is the same that was lit back in 1920. But in 2022, now 102 years later, we're still going, maturing, learning, laughing, loving, growing, hoping for even brighter days ahead. But instead of just hoping for it, pick up your torch and live it. Find gracious words for your sorors and friends and give it. Tighten up your bootstraps and show up to community service and then slip on those heels during Final Womanhood Month just to remind yourself that you're worth it. Donate to that scholarship fund and see what lives are changed through the funds you raise. But most of all, keep your torch ablaze. Because Zeta's legacy for the next 102 rests on you. So here's to you. The classy, confident, powerful, articulate, beautiful, trailblazing, finer women of z 5 b all around the world. Today is our day. And now is our time.
story I want to tell you. In 1919, Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Brothers Charles Robert Samuel Taylor and A. Langston Taylor thought it would be a very exciting idea if there were one more sorority on the campus of Howard University, a sister organization to their fraternity. The sorority would be founded on the same principles of Phi Beta Sigma fraternity, and the two organizations would share the same programs and projects and some ritualistic features as well. Brother Charles Robert Samuel Taylor and Arizona Cleaver, a very significant young couple, they were going steady. He shared with Arizona Cleaver on an evening walk around the reservoir on the campus of Howard University in the spring of 1919, known to this day as the Lover's Stroll. He loved the idea of her becoming the chief architect of forming a new sorority. So in January of 1920, with the founding Zeta Phi Beta sorority, the two organizations became constitutionally bound forever. So it's with great pleasure we welcome our brother, international president of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, the Honorable Chris V. Ray. To my finer sisters of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, happy Founders Day. As international president, I greet you on behalf of our general board and all Phi Beta Sigma men worldwide as we celebrate with you on your 102nd founding. Now, our founders got it right when they established this unbreakable bond. And one of the unique things about being constitutionally bound is that we'll have our good days and we will have our not so good days. But we know and we recognize that there is nothing that can break our bond. Our founders recognize that the work that is prevalent in our communities is needed with both of our efforts, both of our organizations. And so today, as you sit back and you let your hair down and you celebrate all the good work that you are entitled to celebrate, tomorrow, the work continues and your brothers will be there with you, ready to roll up our sleeves and get to work. Because we recognize that there is no bond like the blue and white bond. God bless you all and happy Founders Day. We celebrated with our brothers just a few short days ago as they reached 108 years of brotherhood scholarship and service. Their Global Founders Day event drew thousands of viewers online and highlighted the amazing community service the fraternity is founded on. We are honored to do the same today as community service continues to be a highlight of all we do. Riley Center is a domestic abuse shelter. Um, we house up to 55 people in this emergency shelter. And what we're currently working on is an adopt-a-room project. The rooms provide a safe haven for members of the community who are suffering from domestic abuse. Donations are really, really helpful. They help us do things like buy bedding, um, sheets, towels. When people come into shelter, a lot of times they come in with nothing. Um, they might have literally left an emergency room, and so they're coming in with the clothing that they have on their back. And so the types of supports that people provide are really helping people to sustain themselves, to be able to make a life for themselves, and of course, to live in, in an environment that's free from abuse. Happy Founders Day, Sorors. I am Soror Donetta Heflin, hailing from the beautiful city of Decatur, Georgia, serving the illustrious Iota Eta Zeta chapter, and I am Zeta. Sororas, many of us have listened to the sounds of voice to men for many, many years, known for their emotional ballads, and now we've got to, okay, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, known for their emotional ballads and complex, intricate acapella harmonies, the boys to men sound is very unique and it brings back memories of so much. We are excited that right from the tour, our brother Sean Stockman of Boys to Men took the time to let us know why we must continue to carry the Zeta torch. Hey, what's up? This is Sean Stockman of Boys to Men, and I'm actually about 
to go on stage in about five minutes. <laughs> That's why. Happy Founders Day and greetings to my timelessly finer sisters of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Service brought us together a few years ago when we partnered to support autism awareness through My Family's Foundation, Micah's Voice, which provides community, <laughs> hope, and financial resources for families affected by autism. Micah's Voice is inspired by my son Micah, who lives with autism. So, my family understands firsthand about the importance of supporting this partnership right here. So with your help, my sisters, we have raised nearly $50,000 since our partnership began, and we have assisted numerous families with the resources they need to live their best lives. So thank you to those of you who continue to support our foundation. It was also our partnership that brought me to Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, and now we are bound in blue and white family together as one member of Grammy award-winning R&B group Boys to Men, my music has been present in the soundtrack to many of your lives, humbly. One sweet day this summer, I will welcome you to my home, my birthplace, you know as Motown Philly. I look forward to celebrating with all of you at your belay in July 2022, and we'll go to the end of the road to make sure that your time in Philly is enjoyable. Happy 102nd Founders Day. Soar Wars and friends, we can continue to donate to Micah's Voice right now on our website. That's Z5B1920.org forward slash donate dash Micah's dash voice. Let's continue to be a beacon of hope and donate to such a worthy cause. Zeta to me means community. Um, speaking for myself as someone who was a transplant to Philadelphia, just graduating from college in 1990, 1998, I moved to Philadelphia and I didn't know anyone in the city of Philadelphia, but I knew that I had my soul ward. I knew immediately that I was going to feel at home, which I did. I knew that I was going to be taken care of and I knew that I was going to be okay. Zeta. Zeta women are finer women. They are the X factor. They are kind, they are considerate. Uh, they know how to take care of people and they know how to take care of business. And so Zeta to me means community. Zeta to me means excellence. And Zeta today, tomorrow, forever, I love my Z5B. Hi, my name is Aisha Sanders and I'm a member of Sigma Alpha Zeta, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. And I am Zeta. It's time for us to have a little bit of fun. Are you ready to have a little bit of fun? Are you ready to bounce it out? Are you ready to just say it's wonderful no matter what? Come on. Come on, let's be wonderful together.
Global. So let's look at some of the work of Zeta around the world. Founder Arizona Cleaver Stimmons left us to give the world the best we have as we continue to spread the Zeta all around the world. <laughs> Happy Founders Day, Sororas. I am Soror Shannon Akosia McGee, and I am based in Accra, Ghana, home of Gamma Alpha Sigma Zeta, and I am Zeta. Greetings, Sororas, and happy Founders Day. My name is Sora Keisha Hugh Aban, and I am the chapter president of Gamma Alpha Sigma Zeta chapter, also known as the Ghana Zetas. On behalf of my chapter and I, we want to wish you the most beautiful Founders Day as we celebrate 102 years of scholarship, service, sisterhood, and final womanhood. Through the decades, we were fortunate to see how Zeta has grown and all of the wonderful things that we have contributed to the lives of others, helping so many people excel. And we were fortunate to see that we were able to bring Zeta back to the continent with Delta Iota Zeta and our very own Gamma Alpha Sigma Zeta chapter. As we begin to do the work of Zeta in the continent where a lot of people may not know about what we do, we are making sure that we are never tiring in our efforts and we are intent and purposeful in blazing new paths so that Zeta and the work that we do will be known by all citizens in the beautiful nation of Ghana. So on this day, please be mindful and remember that Zeta is not just one person, it's all of us, a collective unit working and striving and growing together. And so as we celebrate this Founders Day, know that each and every one of you make Zeta special. So you are Zeta, we are Zeta. I am Zeta. Greetings. My name is Frida Kumsen, and I am the proud president of the determined Delta Iota Zeta chapter based in Monrovia, Liberia, within the awesome and outstanding Atlantic region of this illustrious organization we know as Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. On behalf of Liberia Zetas, we would like to wish all of our beautiful accomplished and finer soars, a very happy 102nd Founders Day. I am Zeta. My name is Romanda Dillon, president of the Alpha Alpha Eta Zeta chapter located in Greater London, United Kingdom. Soros, as we enter 102 years of scholarship, service, sisterhood, and final womanhood, I want to remind you to continue standing on the legacy of our founders as we blaze new paths across the globe. Happy Founders Day, Soros, and remember, I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soros. I am Christy Cargill, the Bahamas State Director and member of Theta Epsilon Zeta Chapter in beautiful Nassau, Bahamas, and I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soros. I am Natasha Sunday Clark. I am from New England, Gamma Alpha New Zeta Chapter, and I am Zeta. Greetings, my name is Shakima Bates, President of Mu Theta Zeta Chapter of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, serving the military communities throughout Germany. As we celebrate our 102nd Founders Day, let us continue to stand on our principles and remain steadfast in fostering the ideal of service. I wish you all a very happy 102nd Founders Day. I am Zeta.
Greetings. My name is Sparkle Williams, president of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, Theta Omicron Zeta Chapter in Las Vegas, Nevada. You ask why carry the Zeta torch? Because we took an oath that our founders, our five pearls, set forth to follow in 1920 on a camp campus of Howard University. Our scholarship, service, sisterhood, and finer womanhood are all the reasons to continue the and trailblaze on the path that our founders set forth for us. Finer womanhood, Proverbs 31, a virtuous woman. Community service, to serve our community and all humankind. Scholarship, to continue our academics from childhood to adulthood. And sisterly love, to love ye one another. Our founders have set forth the oath that we have taken, and it's important that we continue to trailblaze in our individual communities. Z5, happy Founders Day. Zeta is more than an organization, it's a movement. And at our core, we have a desire to provide true service, to embrace scholarship and to set a standard for sisterly love and define the noble concept of finer womanhood. Now, this belief has sustained and encouraged Zetas around the world to hold fast to ideals initiated and developed by our earliest members. Please help me welcome Soror Ivy K. Arnold, the third vice president. Greetings, I am Ivy K. Arnold, proudly serving as international third vice president for this zealous sisterhood and especially for our most worthy assets, better known as our collegiate members, who continue to carry the driven essence of the five collegiate women that established Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated on January 16, 1920. If I only had but five minutes with our five pearls, I'd be compelled to not only commend them on the foundation in which they diligently built from scratch during such a difficult era, but I must also ask them, what did that fervent Friday in Minor Hall feel like? Did you know that your creation would positively impact the lives of millions internationally? To my triumphant founders, as I reflect on the day that I received the light of Zeta and it set my fervent heart on fire with zeal, I can't imagine the experience of being chosen to create the light that blazes the test of time, the light that challenges women across the globe to expand their scholastic endeavors, the light that improves the human condition of communities everywhere, the light that gifts a 102-year-old family lineage to women yearning for an honorable legacy to be a part of, that finer light that still glows bright, still being passed down, that light that still thrills educated and community-conscious action-oriented women to go the Zeta way. My oh-so-sweet and finer sorrows of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Congratulations to us on 102 years of service and keeping our founder's sweetest dreams alive and the strength of our philanthropic thrust, growth, sisterly love, outreach, and continuously elevating the standard of what it truly means to be a finer woman of Z5 B. Happy Founders Day Sorrows and let's stay on the move for centuries to come. Now, with much honor to introduce a trailblazing soar that truly needs no introduction. As a 2016 initiate that continues to blaze new paths and always staying well informed, allow me to introduce the good Zeta, the 24th International President, Mary Bro Wright. We walked upon Howard University campus proud of our insignia of Zeta Phi Beta sorority, being the first sorority to be organized as a sister organization to a Greek fraternity. We are actually sisters and brothers. Wishing you a very happy and blessed Founders Day as the 24th International Grand Vassalist, Mary Rowe Wright. 102 years ago, our founders set the standard of quality upon which Zeta Phi Beta was organized. They launched the organization that would cement lifelong friendships, set academic standards, transform communities through volunteer services, and set precedents in the Greek letter world 
as its history unfolded. As you participate in rededication ceremonies, please remember why you joined Zeta. You joined Zeta because you are willing to dedicate yourself to the cause of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. You can manage your time well enough to work for Zeta. You believe that you are dedicated to our principles and philosophy. You have a desire to help the community and uplift the image of African-American women. You knew that joining Zeta, you were joining a family as we are true sisters of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, our brothers. You knew that since its inception, Zeta has been community service oriented. And you did not want to wear letters, but do something with them. So again, happy Founders Day, and please continue serving and working for the love of Zeta. time of our president, triumphant founder, Arizona Cleaver Stemmons, we have been led by finer women of distinction. The role of president is the highest honor within Zeta and is responsible for leading the organization and advancing the organization as well. So let's take the time to honor the leaders of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Mm -hmm. 
Dottery Butler Washington, Helen from the Atlantic region, Phi Alpha Zeta Chapter, Charles County, Maryland, and I am Zeta. Sorors and guests, we hope you had a wonderful time on our journey commemorating and celebrating our 102nd Founders Day. We've taken a look at the final resting places of our beloved pearls. We've celebrated with our undergraduates and found out what it means to be a torchbearer of a legacy. We discussed our history and understand a historical perspective of our founders and what it means to be a finer woman. You've had an inside look at how our founders' remarkable spirits have paid a personal touch in some of our leaders of today and in the past. Soros, being a Zeta woman is personal. You must absolutely remember your why of why you too decided to join the ranks of fire womanhood. We've taken a look at the scholarships of how Zeta impacts young women on both campuses and in our communities. You've heard from our past Vassali and how their legacy and leadership has played a part in our substantial service to our global communities. Guests, we encourage you to collaborate with us as we continue to do the great work of scholarship, service, sisterhood, and finer womanhood. And last, but certainly not least, to the men of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, we thank you for your continued love for the last 102 years and for your ongoing support as together as brothers and sisters, we continue to be the number one service organizations for today and beyond. Thank you and have a good evening. Happy Founders Day. Greetings, my name is Dana Moore, president of the Beta Delta Zeta chapter of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Are you ready to paint the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection, royal blue and white? Well, get ready, Philadelphia, because we're coming. Don't be guilty of having the fear of missing out, as we will join you here in the city of Philadelphia the summer of July 2022. Happy Founders Day, Sorors. I am Dr. Tamika Thomas, 
And on behalf of all of your sorors here in Alpha Alpha Omicron Zeta chapter, serving Northeast Philadelphia and Bucks County, Pennsylvania, welcome to Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection. We eagerly await your arrival here for Boulay 2022, when we will handle the business of Zeta, engage in lots of sisterly love and affection, while partying with Mary J. Blige in the finest way. July just can't get here soon enough for us. See you soon, Sororors. What's up, Sororors? It's Representative Jordan Harris here. Just stopping by to wish you a happy Founders Day. For 102 years, Zetas have been at the forefront of every major movement here with this nation, whether it's been our literary leaders, whether it's been our civil rights leaders, whether it's been those in music and entertainment. Zetas are always at the forefront, always leading the charge and always being finer women. Love you all so much. Happy Founders Day from your fraternity brother, Representative Jordan Harris from the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Take care. With fervent hearts we pray for you Zeta each day. You've always stood for the rights rather than for the minds. We will love you ever and forsake you never when Zeta calls will answer one and all. Zeta by Beta, we love absolute pleasure to serve as your mistress of ceremony today as we all continue living the legacy, continuing to carry the torch. As sisters in this great organization, we will keep the vision of our honorable founders at the forefront of all that we do. So special thank you to everyone who has made this year's global virtual celebration possible. It was a lot of work, so thanks to everybody, our headquarters team, Founders Day Committee, and all of you doubly women of finer womanhood. Mwah. As we continue to live the legacy set forth by our five pearls, let's always remember, we are because they were. Love you guys, see you soon. I'm LaShannon Aldog, hailing from the phenomenal Pacific region, Sigma Eta Zeta Chapter, Long Beach, California, and I am Zeta. I am Shauna Flanagan, Passat Zeta Chapter, Magnolia, Arkansas, the unconquerable South Central region, and I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Sorors. I'm Sora Malou Cristobal, and I bring you greetings on behalf of the finer women of Forest Park, Illinois, Tazai Zeta Chapter, and I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soros. I am Soros Julia Heflin, and I am a member of IOTA Ada Zeta chapter, serving Decatur, Georgia, and I am Zeta. Happy 102nd Founders Day, Soros. Continue to embody the principles of scholarship, service, sisterhood, and finer womanhood, and live out each day to make our founders proud. I wish you well. My name is Sora Katrina Ansari, and I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Sororors. I am so excited to be celebrating 102 years. Sending greetings all the way from the greater Great Lakes region, the magnificent state of Michigan, 
I am Nicole Pennington with Zeta New Zeta Chapter in Inkster, Michigan, and I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soul Warriors. I am Soul Warrior Brittany Caldwell. I am from the Iota Theta Chapter of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, and I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soul Warriors. My name is Kayla Clark, and I am in the Delta Phi Chapter out of Charlotte, North Carolina, and I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soars. I am E.C. Green from Sigma Iota Zeta Chapter in Reynoldsburg, Ohio. And I also have the pleasure of being the director for the state of Ohio. And I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soars. My name is Bernice Walker, and I am from Rho Eta Zeta Chapter in Anne Arundel County, Maryland. And I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soul Roars. The time has officially come. 102 years are in the books, and I am so excited to be spending it with you all. Greetings, I am Destiny Pennington, and I serve as the president of the Epsilon Alpha Chapter at Tennessee State University. From the tremendous state of Tennessee in the unconquerable South Central region, I am Destiny Pennington, and I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soros. My name is Darkeisha Moten, Basilisk of the Tor Delta Zeta Chapter in Laurel, Maryland, and I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soros. I am Sora Ruthie Pickens, Kansas State Director. I am a member of the Chi Delta Zeta Chapter of Lawrence, Topeka, Kansas, and I am Zeta. Hi, Soros. Happy Founders Day. I am Mary Parnell from New Rose Zeta Chapter, Akron, Ohio. I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soros. <clears throat> My name is Camelia Clark out of Tall Ada Zeta Chapter, Baltimore City, Maryland, and I am Zeta. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Jaden Lano. I'm sending my best from the Great Lakes region, Alpha Pi Chapter, here at the University of Toledo in Toledo, Ohio. I am Zeta. Hi, my name is Danielle Johnson, and I'm sending love from the Great Lakes region, Alpha Pi Chapter, here at the University of Toledo in Toledo, Ohio, and I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soul Boys. My name is Elise H. Collier from Musa Zeta Chapter, Baltimore County, Maryland, and I am Zeta. Hello, Soros. My name is Kennedy Williams. I am sending love from the Great Lakes region. I am a member of the Oso Fly Alpha Pi chapter. I am at the University of Toledo in Toledo, Ohio, and I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soros. I am Sor Elisha Graham from Sacramento, California, the Kappa Psi Zeta chapter, and I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soros. My name is Monika Dillard, member of Tall Ada Zeta Chapter in Baltimore City, Maryland, and I am Zeta. Happy Founders Day, Soros. I'm Sora Jalen Graham. I'm from the Kappa Psi Zeta Chapter in Sacramento, California, and I am Zeta. 